Hey Libra, this could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. It's timeless. It may not resonate for every Libra, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. So I will tell you what, there's an energy that's taken over this reading um, for the Libras this week. <sighs> All right, so what I'm getting is there's someone in your life that is... Okay, first, first of all, there's someone in your life that wants to control your life okay now you may have come from you're giving me lotus flower you may have come from an environment where there were a lot of people that had demons or right? demons running around trying to feed off you feeding off the people around you um you know like i'm just seeing a, a group of people sitting together and then just these demons just standing there in between them all right it's almost like you've you've grown like a lotus flower out of very harsh conditions or dark conditions okay and it's almost like you know the devil is what i'm seeing like you know darkness when you see it so what i'm getting is some of you i don't know why but you may have had to you may have even had to be quite sneaky at certain points in your life when it came to dealing with people and devil energy right but here's the thing right now you're dealing with some kind of tricks to spirit and i cannot deny this what i'm seeing here like someone wants to conquer and control your life and i can see that whoever this is for you're having a hard time ghosting this person you're having a hard time breaking up with this person um you're having a hard time just like healing from this situation or just separating yourself from the person in general okay it's like your intuition keeps saying ghost this situation this person's no good your intuition keeps saying ghost this situation even if it hurts this person's gonna break your heart right you may have even found that you have lied to this person at points but here's the thing this person is one hell of a liar okay this is this is what you need to know and you'd already know it so this is something that's already been revealed to you this person is a habitual liar right so they could be kind of a reflection of an aspect of your shadow side in some way but at the same time it's like you could be attracted to this about this person you could be attracted to the fact that you know that they're in control or they appear like they're in control but it's not that flattering underneath the surface okay this person may present themselves like an emperor but underneath that they're the seven of swords and the devil <laughs> okay like this person is a it's kind of given con artists it's kind of given they'll paint a picture of themselves that is very false okay they'll paint a picture of other people in their life that's very false and and I, it's really sinister this this person is really sinister i can't deny it they've taken over the reading that's how much this person is like trying to control your life all right so i was getting this download um earlier today i wasn't sure who it was for but it feels like it's this it feels like um i wrote it down it was some something was telling me there'll be a message today where some of you are going to be guided to break up with somebody and if you don't break up with them your spirit guides are going to do it for you and it's like you got one week like this is what this was crazy because you already know you already know you got to ghost this you already know you got to go through the healing period in this situation Right, even if this person's attractive as fuck and they attract all sorts of people to them, right, or they feel or they appear like they have their life together or whatever, they're looking at you like a lamb that they they about to slaughter. Try, like this is what I'm saying. Okay, they they may even appear very spiritual. This person, but underneath, right, you have been through enough stuff in your life to recognize demons, to recognize darkness. Right, maybe some of you are in a field where you see a lot of shadows or a lot of darkness in people you deal with people's trauma and stuff some of you may be in a field like that but you don't have to be but it's just crazy because you know how to move around these types of energies yet for some reason you're having a hard motherfucking time getting rid of this this energy or getting out of this web of control or this situation so yeah child someone's guys are saying if you, if you don't break up with this person in one week they're going to do it for you <laughs> or if you don't separate yourself from this person your guides are going to do it for you you know it ain't no threat but um this is like what i was guided to say today and it feels like this is the moment um 
So, yeah, you're being called to call your power back. This is what your advice is in this situation. You're being called to call your power back. Remember who the fuck you are. Remember how powerful you are. Remember that you have everything you need to manifest whatever it is that you want into your life. Why would you want to manifest somebody that wants to control you and has lied to you and continues to lie to you? Okay? This person has a serious control issue. But I'll tell you what it is. This person has an entity attached to them. Right? And this is why I'm getting this visual of people standing around and there's just this en these entities like devils just standing right next to them holding their hands right like this person skips along like they walking through the park holding hands with a demon like that's what i'm saying but i it's not in a good way it's like this person is unconscious of the demon that's feeding off them and the demon is like trying to torture you play with you and that's why you're having a hard time walking away from this situation so you know what don't force this to fit gang because it's not for everyone but you will know it in your heart in your soul and your spirit that this is your message right you may feel like this person treats you like a lamb or something i don't know like they look at you like they want to slaughter you i'm dead serious they, they look at you like that Right? Like, you may notice this person looking at you really funny sometimes. Or you catch them off guard. Like, you know when you're in the car with somebody, and then you, like, look into the mirror, <laughs> the reflection on the window, and you can see the person's face, like, what they're doing when you're not looking? It's kind of like that. Right? You pay attention, you'll see this person looking at you, like, or some weird motherfucking way, like, they want to slaughter you. Okay? And this person is really, really good at cloaking themselves. They're really, really good at getting away with things. But one thing that they don't understand about you is where you came from. Okay, it's something about where your soul has come from, what your soul has overcome, the things you've had to do to unravel yourself from the bind of demons and just dark energy. This person has no idea like who they're fucking with. And for some reason, it's like, for some reason, th this is some kind of spiritual battle going on you guys may think this is some kind of relationship right but this ain't no relationship this is a spiritual warfare going on in the higher realms <laughs> right and your guides are begging you to call your power back right so why is it so hard for the collective to cut this person off because i feel like you'd have no problem doing it with other people right you've maybe done that a lot in your life like you'll dance around demons you'll talk to them you know, you, you understand this stuff about people. You understand people's dark side, but it's like maybe this person hasn't revealed their true face to you. I don't know why, but I'm seeing like teeth coming off this person. Like teeth off of their feet. And that's so weird. But if you think about feet, they're the thing that stands you up. They're the thing that they, um, your feet are what holds your whole body up right it's like this person's got teeth on their feet and it's like they, they, their feet want to bite your freaking feet off so you can't have this sense of stability or something like you know what i'm saying this person may also have some kind of addictions yeah and it, it's oh my god we've got the angels under the devil like look how this just flipped that's crazy no like this is this is wild this is like this person is kind of a mirror of something maybe an old version of you or something like that i don't know tribe but this is dark maybe they're like a reflection of some of the dark things you've been around in your life and this could be a lesson that your soul's trying to integrate as well okay but this person oh my gosh they present like an angel tribe especially if they're spiritual or something they present like they're an angel but they are my fucking devil this mask is so thick on this person's face it's about to get ripped off if you guys don't remove yourself from this situation it's about to get ripped off okay you're being called to remember to manifest love manifest new love into your life if this is someone you feel you know is the one for you but you also can sense this darkness on them, their control issues on them. Run, okay? Run, because if you don't, divine intervention is about to take place and your guides are going to get involved and they're going to pull you out of this situation, right? Some of you are half-half on this situation because you feel like there's still a chance of victory or success with this person, right? 
No, this person has also done foolish things, naive things. They've said things that they can't unsay, right? The things have slipped out of this person's mouth that it's like your angels do not approve of this person being in your life. You know, you're being called to go independent. Nine of Pentacles, be single for a little while and manifest new love, like intentionally. Boom, gang. Go, go freaking sit under the moon, do some manifestation. You'll manifest new love into your life. Just remember there's billions of people on this planet and you do not deserve to be trapped with some kind of freaking compulsive liar like this. All right? They're getting removed. They're getting removed. So your guys kind of want you to feel like you've got a choice in this situation. And I feel like somebody's got about a week, all right, to really take a step back and exercise some self-control in this situation because yeah this person may be fucking addictive yeah they you may be very you know attracted to this person or something about them right but i'm telling you if their mask was to be ripped off and you know this you know this if their mask was to be ripped off you would not find what's underneath they're very pretty all right your guides can see what is underneath this person's mask and they want them out of your life so you let me know if this resonated tribe i love you